So I'm here today excited to bring you another review and today is a review of a LPVO low powered variable scope and I got the Leupold VX-6HD. This is a 1 to 6 by 24 with a custom dial system dials, 30 millimeter main tube, matte black illuminated fire dot duplex. So this is what the reticle looks like, a fire dot duplex, and the center is just going to be a illuminated red dot, pretty much. And with it, I have a Mark AR from Leupold. It is the mount. This is a for a 30 millimeter. And it's going to be going on my 16 inch BCM AR-15 rifle. Previously have the EOTAG and the G3 magnifier. I will be taking that off and putting this on. And I will be putting those on a short barreled rifle instead. So let's go ahead and open this up. And there she is in the flesh. Very simple packaging. Just enough to secure it. Let's pull this out. And right off the bat, I can feel how light this is. The uh, reason why I went with this over the Vortex Gen 2 is because, one, it's a loophole, so you could trust that it's going to have a clear glass. Loophole is known for having great glass quality. And that's what I wanted. And also because it is considerably lighter than the Vortex Gen 2. This comes in at around, I believe, 16, 15 or 16 ounces compared to uh, other scopes that are uh, 23 to 25 ounces. So this is a lot lighter. And this one comes with the aluminum cover caps front and back which is nice here you just push this here and pops right open I mean that's really nice and it's held together with these magnets so that comes with the scope also what other manufacturers should really start doing which I like is that it comes with an attachable throw lever. So this right here attaches onto here, right there, and now you have a throw lever, which I believe every LPVO companies should start including because we all know that short stroking that is not ideal. And uh, especially if you have a vortex, it's a a much more harder, um, much much more resistance on that on that throw. So that's why almost everybody has to get a throw lever. So I like that Leupold is actually including a throw lever with their scope. Here now I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what the reticle looks like using my iPhone camera lens. So do mind that I am struggling to try and get it focused, but what I see through my naked eye is way more clear than what you're seeing right now. The iPhone camera does not do this reticle the proper justice it deserves. Here's the red dot as I'm trying to focus in on it. As I focus in on the red dot with my phone, it goes in and out and you can barely see it. But what I'm actually seeing through my naked eye is a nice bright red dot in the center with a crisp, clear picture. The glass in this thing is just amazing. So again, I'm still using my iPhone. Now we're in the kitchen and I'm trying to give you guys a better sight picture and help you understand just how great this glass is. Here I'm at 1x. Let's go ahead and turn the reticle on and try to pick up the red dot in the center. Now keep in mind, what I'm seeing through the naked eye is much brighter than what you're seeing through my iPhone. 
So take this with a grain of salt. It is a bright reticle and it is bright enough for what you need to use it for. Let's zoom in now to 2x and you can see how crisp and clear this is. The pictures and the details behind it is very crisp and there's a lot of light coming in to the lens. This is a great optic with very clear glass. And now pay attention here to the fridge, to the cabinet on top, and to the white stove top to the right. As you look across from inside the lens to outside of the lens, there is little to, nor to no distortion or warping of the image. That is a true sign of a very true 1X, which is what you want in a LPVO 1-6. to There I have the throw lever installed that came from the factory included with this scope which is awesome um, it's nice that they actually listen to the customers and added a throw lever that you could throw on there so now you could switch between one and six x much easier now so that's awesome I'm pretty impressed so far with the loop hold they really gave me the whole package here you know, it, it came with the throw lever. It came with the new um, upgraded CDS dials, which lock at zero. That way, when you're in the field and you bump into stuff, it'll stay in the lock position, which is awesome. And it also came with these nice um, covers, front and back. So, I mean... They give you everything you need, so that's great. Probably the only annoying thing about this scope that I don't like is the button they have to change the brightness from up and down. You click it seven times to get to the highest brightness, and then you gotta click it seven times again to get it down to the lowest brightness. So there's seven brightness settings, and then it'll flash uh, twice or, or it'll flash three times once they're at the lowest setting and then it'll flash three times again at the highest setting i find this to be a little bit more um annoying than just their typical rotating dial to go through the variances of the brightness i prefer the rotating one better than this clicking one but that would probably be the only flaw or con i would say about this scope so far but other than that it still works um and the red dot to me is is bright enough 